The Quran is universally believed by Muslims to be the perfect, flawless word of Allah. To prove it isn't, all one has to do is find one contradiction where the Quran claims something but later claims the opposite. So here's three. One, the Quran both claims the heavens were created before the earth and after the earth. The Quran clearly claims here Allah first created the earth and then the heavens. But here, the Quran clearly claims Allah first created the heavens and then spread out and thereby created the earth. The words after that are key and almost all translations acknowledge this verse shows a sequence. Some Islamic scholars try to make sense of the Quran's contradiction by claiming Allah creates the earth, then he creates the heavens, and finally he spreads the earth out. However, this claim is very unconvincing because 229 explicitly states everything or all that is on the earth was created in one action which means there can't have been parts of the earth being created before and after the heavens creation. Others point out that Tumah in Arabic sometimes means moreover instead of then. However, the context of Allah turning to create the heavens clearly demonstrates that he turned from the earth then to the heavens in sequence which contradicts 79.30. Finally, verse 41.11 states that Allah turned from the now created earth to the smoke of the unformed, not yet created heavens. Here, it doesn't matter what Tumah translates as, and so the Quran's contradiction is irrefutable. 2. The Quran claims the only food for people in hell is dari, a bitter, thorny plant. But it also claims the only food for people in hell is pus from wounds. To explain this contradiction, some writers claim that the word haslin in Arabic means a type of tree according to one hadith but the overwhelming consensus for hundreds of years, as shown by these translations, is that it is pus from the sores of humans in hell, which greatly undermines this claim. Furthermore, even if one could explain this away, the Quran also states people in hell eat from a zakam tree, which bears fruits like a devil's head, and is certainly not the same as the small thorny plant called dari. This constitutes another contradiction since dari is the only food they eat according to one verse but not the only food according to another. 3. Finally, the Quran claims it is a completely clear, fully detailed book but it also claims there are parts of the book which are ambiguous and not well detailed. To answer this contradiction, Islamic scholars turn to very complex and lengthy analyses of the Arabic language. In the hands of an apologist, the Quran's Arabic can mean just about anything. So, one should concern oneself with reality, not these abstractions. It is more than plausible that Muhammad created the Quran himself and, being human, made mistakes and revealed verses from Allah that contradicted earlier verses. There have been a great number of false prophets through the ages and but for a quirk of history, Muhammad today might be unknown, like say, Simon Bar Kokhba. Who's that you say? Exactly. In conclusion, the Quran is not the perfect word of Allah since it contains at least three contradictions which Allah wouldn't create. Therefore, Muslims should not believe in the perfect truth of the Quran.